Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I use a newsletter to scale my coaching and consulting business. I use a platform called Beehive and I'm gonna be walking you through step by step exactly how this works. Usually when you're sending marketing emails from your website, you might deal with things like your sender score being lower or sending from other platforms like ActiveCampaign or HubSpot or whatever platform you happen to be using. We found that the open rates are far higher on Beehive than a lot of other marketing email platforms. And so it's a big opportunity for you to be able to get in front of your ideal clients, especially if some of your current emails are going to the promotions tab or they're going to spam. As you can see, I've got my own Marketing Minds newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter where I share the latest tips on marketing and business strategies. I've managed to scale this newsletter up to over 98,000 active subscribers. And that's another reason that these newsletters are just so valuable because people love to read them and they show up in the primary inbox. But first I wanna show you how you actually go and set all of this up. And then I'll show you how to actually write the newsletters and walk you through my process through writing each of these newsletters as well. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you go and create that Beehive account is go into your settings. You're gonna to want to add in your profile picture, you know, put some details about yourself, put in the different links to your social media profiles. From there, there's some admin stuff you can do, but then we really go into the company side of things and we go into our overall publications, you can add your team, uh, and inside the publication is where you'll put the basic details overall about your newsletters. Now, they also give you the ability to add a custom domain. We just actually use the current Beehive domain because we found that that works well for us. However, you can add in your own custom domain as well if you want it to send from your own domain name. If you take a look here, there's some other details where you can redirect, you can add some things in, you can have a premium uh, subscription offering, and there's also some other details here to import subscribers. So let's say you have an existing list, you can go and import some of those people into this uh, platform. Same thing with content, you can export data. With the subscribe forms, this is where you're gonna create a form that allows people to subscribe uh, the same way that we have it over here. This is their main subscribe page, but you can essentially set something like that up with a form as well. If you go here, you can create a new form, add some details for your header, your description, your email placeholder, and then this will allow you to create a form which you can then go and embed on different sites. Now from there, the design lab is where you customize all the different colors, uh, actually go in and optimize some of this within your uh, newsletter. I'm not gonna show you too much about this because this is something you're really gonna play around with, right? You can see here the different colors, the spacing, you can change this for the landing page, so you can add some details here. You can change you know, the, the background image, the different images that are there. Um, you know, upgrade page doesn't, that's not relevant for us, but the home page where all the different posts are, you can go in and add different widgets, different things here as well uh, to get people to sign up. Uh, and you can see what it looks like on desktop and mobile. So this just really gives you an ability to go in and change the theme and just how it overall looks for the people coming in to your newsletter. Then from there, you can see that there's also some other uh, options inside of that website uh, down here too, where you can change uh, some of the details around your landing page, your home page, uh, and more right here. And you can also add in analytics, you can change the navigation bar, uh, and add in the ability to make comments. Now this is the main section that you're gonna make some potential edits in as well, just based on the overall color palette, you know, details, the different themes that you have. You can have fun kind of playing around with this and just making sure that you set this up for yourself. And if you have an analytics or tracking platform, that's where you're gonna to wanna to go in here and add in your analytics code uh, for your different pixel IDs, your Google Tag Manager, your Google Analytics, all the different details in there as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back out and I'm gonna walk you through how we actually set up a brand new uh, template and new email right here inside of Beehive. But before I do that, I actually wanna show you what some of these existing emails look like. So if we go over here to the right section and then post, this is where we can create a new newsletter inside of Beehive. Now let's take a look at this last one, the best YouTube retargeting ad strategy. As you can see, we sent this out to 98,325 people. And we had, and there's two numbers here, I'll explain these, 27,145 unique opens. These are individual people that uniquely opened this email. And then, there was a total of 38,356 open. So some of these people opened multiple times. That's why this number you know, with the total opens is 38,356. However, the number of unique people that opened this is 27,145. 
That means that we have an open rate of 27.6% for this email. So out of all the people this was sent to, 27.6% opened, and a few of those people opened multiple times. Now our average is about 25%, um, and so we can see that this email did a little bit better than average. There's different factors that have to do with that. You can also see how many people opened within a certain period of time after sending. You can see within an hour after sending, we had 9,800 opens and then it kind of trails off from there. That's usually uh, normal here is you'll have most people open within the first few hours. And then after that, people as they check their email will go through and take a look. You can see we had about 113 people unsubscribe and eight people report as spam. That is normal for an account that's sending out to this number of people. Obviously we try to minimize this as much as possible. Unsubscribing is really easy. The thing that we're really worried about is spam reports because we don't want people to report us as spam um, you know, because that could potentially harm our deliverability. But still in the grand scheme of things, this is a very small fraction of the number of people who got these emails. It's just par for the course when you're sending out about 100,000 emails a week. Uh, you can also see down here that we've got our web uh, visitors too. So 44 people went to the website page uh, for this article. So you can see here, we have our website, so the Marketing Minds newsletter website, and then all of these articles are actually listed on the site. So you can see what this email looks like. Best YouTube ad retargeting strategy. You can see, you know, you can scroll through here, you can click the YouTube video, you know, the, the webinar, people can subscribe if they're not already, they can see kind of all the details. And so, um, what I know is that we had 44 people actually go through, go to that page and take a look at this page on our website. And then one people, what well, one person clicked it. Uh, we can also see specifically how many people are clicking the different links. So we specifically talked about a YouTube video on how to retarget uh, people with YouTube ads, a full breakdown. We had a bunch of people click that. And then also a webinar we have coming up for my software keyword search, where we're showing some of the brand new features that we added in to our AI software. We also had a few other links here too. These are kind of more sub uh, links though. The main two links we're promoting are these two links uh, here, and we can get a good sense of how many people are actually clicking there. Now what we can also do is we can take a look at our polls and we can see, okay, how many people love the email, how many people said it was okay or didn't like it. We can also take a look at our AB split test to see if we had two different uh, subject lines, if we split tested that. This one didn't have a split test. Sometimes we have that. We can also view some of the engagement and comments as well. Now, overall, we could take a look at what this newsletter was and you can see, you know, this is the best YouTube retargeting ad strategy, learn how to retarget on YouTube ads like a pro. I kind of dive into, you know, some details, kind of open up with a more of an intro. Then I remind people that my, my uh, you know, goal is to provide a lot of value. I give them a sneak peek at what's inside the email. And then I walk them through and, you know, I explain in this case, the YouTube retargeting strategy. Here's what it looks like. Here's the YouTube video. And then I'll link directly to that video on YouTube that people can go to and then start watching this, uh, how to retarget audiences with your YouTube ads video. So now I'm going to show you how to write a new post here in Beehive. So we're going to go to our post tab. And normally we would just click start writing to write from scratch. But what I've done is I've actually created an email template for myself that I can use to templatize my new emails. And I really recommend this because what you can do is put in the different outline and the pieces of what you want included in every single email. And this is just gonna make it way easier for you to actually follow that template each time you're writing an email and plug and play directly into that. So let's click on our Marketing Minds template and I'll show you what is inside. So as you can see, I start off with a quick ex excerpt to the email, then a reminder of what our goal is. I give them a sneak peek at what they're gonna get inside of the newsletter. Then I give kind of a final sentence sometimes, and then I dive in. Then I give them a value. I love to like start it off with a big piece of value or something I wanna share with them. Uh, in this newsletter I'm gonna write today, it's gonna be uh, giving them the best uh, credit cards that they can use to maximize rewards, business credit cards and personal credit cards. I've got a couple of these videos and I release these closer to uh, you know Christmas and the holidays and I actually had some other emails going out around that time. So I never actually did a big email promoting these two videos. And so that's what I wanna do with this email is promote the best cards to earn credit card rewards you know, with their business. And so that's what this email is gonna be all about today. And you'll see me actually start putting some of those pieces together here. Then and sometimes I like to add a slice of life. What I'm gonna be talking about today uh, is how we recently had one of our office days for some of our Ad Astra Mastermind clients here in our office. I'm gonna put a picture, I'm gonna share a little bit about how great it was. And then sometimes I'll put in something else that I found valuable as well, potentially AI tools, something like that. I'm probably gonna share something about Sora AI, uh, which is OpenAI's new 
AI video generation software that is taking the internet by storm right now. So that's kind of the resource or the additional thing. And then we have our conclusion. We say, you know, a little summary. Uh, we talk about a sneak peek of what's coming in the next email. And at the end, we have, how did you like this week's newsletter? Now, in terms of typing all of this, what you can do is just type individually here and you can start you know, typing just like that. And what you can also do is you can type the slash to add in a command and that's where you can add things like bulleted lists, numbered lists, buttons, images, uh, code blocks, tables, block quotes, you know, hor horizontal rule lines. You can add different headings. You can embed links. You can embed YouTube videos, Instagram videos, Twitter videos, TikTok. Um, you can also add in advertisements as well if you have a specific advertiser. And there's a lot of different things that you can do here, even a table of contents uh, for your, your email too. So there's a lot of opportunities to go in and just customize. That's one of the things I love about Beehive. Oh, so you can see we've got this full newsletter and I've used that template to go and write this newsletter uh, using that template, using additional videos and resources and articles that we have here and some pictures about uh, you know, my life and what we're doing here at Outreach. And I'm putting all this together into a weekly newsletter that we send out at the same time each week. This for us happens to be on Fridays. So now what we would do is go over here and go and set up the email side of it. So what we can do is on the email side, I'm just gonna take that same title and I'm gonna go, and you can actually just click copy title and subtitle. You can see the best credit card rewards, uh, you know, credit cards to maximize rewards for business owners. Now, I actually like to grab the first part of the text here and put that in the preview text. So I've earned millions of credit card reward points and then that's kind of the detail here. Now, if we wanted to create an A-B split test to see which email subject line people will open, we can click that and we can actually do a different subject line. So let's say we wanted to do how to hack credit card reward points for business owners, and that could be an alternative, uh, alternative subject line. And what it'll do is it'll test both subject lines, see which one works the best, and then automatically use the best one. You can actually test many of these different subject lines as well. And then we've got the preview text down here too. So what it'll do is it'll test all three of these subject lines, see which one works the best, and then scale that one up. Now, what we can also do is we can optimize the website. I like to grab this title here and put it right there in the slug, that way, it's SEO optimized. And then for the thumbnail, I like to go into the preview and usually grab the thumbnail of whatever video I'm promoting. So this credit card rewards uh, video, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna upload that as the thumbnail that I want to use. And then as you can see, now we've got our best business cards and this is going to be the specific thumbnail that we're going to use. We can see the SEO, what it looks like and the overall delivery. We can see who it's gonna be sent to. You can also segment the list as well. And then what we can do is go and take a look at the preview. The preview is gonna give you an overall view of what this looks like. You can see here that we've got the, the title gear, we've got the details, we've got all of these different videos that we're promoting, we've got the images that we threw in here, the different links, all of that. And then what I can go and do is when I'm ready, I can click schedule and then schedule this to publish on a certain day. In this case, we're going to schedule it for Friday, 6 a.m., which we've found works the best. And then we're gonna go ahead and go and publish it. So now I wanna show you how you can create what's called a workflow inside of Beehive. This is gonna allow you to send a welcome email to every new person that subscribes, as well as a series of additional emails to warm them up as they're coming into your newsletter. So if you take a look over here, all you gotta do is go down to the right section and then go to automations and then add a new automation. Now this is gonna prompt you as to what the initial uh, trigger for that automation is. In this case, we trigger it to be if someone signs up for that newsletter, you can go in here and change this based on uh, you know, what you want this to be. But in this case, it's when somebody signs up for the newsletter, then we wait 30 minutes and then we send them the welcome to the Marketing Minds newsletter. Now, the reason we wait for 30 minutes is because sometimes people will get additional emails in the meantime. You probably wanna just send this right off the bat, but sometimes people subscribe to this newsletter after going and opting into one of our other funnels, and that's usual for us. So we don't want them to get five different emails all at the same time. We let them get those emails first and then get the Marketing Minds uh, newsletter email after that. And then from there, we're gonna send this welcome uh, email. So you can see here, this is Welcome to the Marketing Minds newsletter by Alaric Keck plus gifts inside. Now you can see here that this has a pretty strong uh, overall metrics. Uh, when we take a look at it, you can see 45% open rate, 13% click rate, 0% spam rate. And we sent this out to about 5,600 people because we've changed this up a little bit. And you can see that I wrote a full uh, welcome newsletter and you can see you can go in and edit this. 
You can see that this welcomes them to the Marketing Minds newsletter. It gives them some of my valuable trainings for free, uh, walks them through step-by-step -step exactly how it works, shows them a little bit more about myself, and it really just gives them a lot of value in this initial email. And so that's what this is all about, is just to give them the maximum amount of value possible in my welcome to the Marketing Minds newsletter email, which they get right here, right off the bat. And then from there, once they get that first email, it's going to wait uh, for a period of time, and then it's going to wait for a specific day of the week. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is I'm sending my regular weekly newsletter on Fridays. So I know that each Friday they're gonna get the regular newsletter because they're now subscribed. But I also wanna send them some warm up emails to give them some extra value early on. So you can see here that I wait until a specific day of the week, in this case, Tuesday at 6 a.m., and then I send out a couple of additional emails, my beginner's guide to YouTube ads, and how to use YouTube ads to grow their channel because I know these are emails that I want them to receive as they're getting warmed up so that they can get even more value from the newsletter. And so we send these out uh, before um, they even go in and get some of the additional details and information on my regular newsletters as well. So that's how this overall workflow is set up. You can essentially set this up to trigger when somebody signs up and then you can click the plus button and add in new emails that are gonna be able to send out to people right once they sign up for that newsletter. Now, there are a few other really cool features here inside of Beehive. Uh, you can also grow your newsletter with a referral program. They've got magic links, they've got recommendations that you can add in. You can even boost your newsletter as well on different newsletters. That's something that we've tried too. Um, although, you know, the main way we grow is right here with YouTube ads, that's our bread and butter. Um, you can also monetize the newsletter with ads and you know your own type of boosts or subscriptions. And you can also go in and analyze your audience, take a look at that and see who's actually coming into that newsletter. Now, as you can see, we've grown this newsletter to over 98,000 active subscribers. We're continuing to grow each and every week and month. And I wanna continue to share with you exactly what is working. So make sure that you subscribe right here to this channel. Like the video if you found it valuable. If you wanna check out the Marketing Minds newsletter, I have this weekly newsletter. It is very value-based as you saw inside of this video. I'll post that link right down there at the top of the description. Also, if you wanna learn how to scale your business with YouTube ads and video marketing, I'll also post a link down below to a quick 20 minute call that you can book with our team to see if YouTube ads are a good fit for you. And be sure to check out some of the other trainings right here on this YouTube channel. My goal is to provide massive value to you to help you scale your business to six, seven, and of course, even eight figures. And I'm looking forward to helping you achieve that. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next video.